who has an encyclopedia mind of all our contracts. Hey guys! We're here. We made it. I want to start by saying thank you to all of the members, WGA and also our SAG after members who show up every day in the heat and march and walk. They hear you and they know you're out here. I want to thank all the volunteers and staff. It isn't easy being out here in the heat of the sun day after day, but you guys are the guys that keep this thing going, so thank you to you. In June, not that long ago, in June, we asked all of you if it was needed, would you vote to allow us to go on strike? Would you be willing to strike? 97.91% of you, us, voted yes. That 97.91% has now matured into this. 100% unified, unbreakable leadership and workforce. 100% unified and unbreakable leadership uh, and negotiating committee. 100% unified negotiating committee and board. And you guys have been absolutely phenomenal at 100% being unified and showing the people behind those gates that we're not playing around anymore. It isn't complicated. Let me go through some of the points. We need a scale wage that keeps up with inflation, right? We need protections against artificial intelligence taking over our art form and protecting the work that we create. We need a streaming residual structure that fairly compensates us for the reuse of our work. That's creative work that makes those companies billions of dollars that we invent and we create. That's a sellable product every time we perform. We need to have reasonable guidelines that when we self-tape ourselves, no more should the burden be a 12-page memorized first audition. No more should it be up to us to go find our scene partner. No more should we be putting in hours of putting a self-tape together only to know that we submitted on a job that was already cast. And we should be able to interact with those we are auditioning for. Yeah. We need nudity and sexual scene protections that truly protect us. We need our stunt performers to be truly a part of our residuals formula. Yeah. We need our background performers to be treated with respect and dignity while being adequately and fairly compensated. We need our singers and dancers to be paid fairly no matter if it's a rehearsal day or a work day. You can break your ankle just as hard on a rehearsal day than you can on a work day. So look, let me finish up with this. I know, we know, and the people behind that gate know that what we're asking for is fair and reasonable. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, there are hundreds of independent producers with a lot less resources than the people behind that gate and know that our proposals are reasonable. They're working under those proposals and those conditions every freaking day. So, to the AMPTP companies, I say, come and join us to keep our beloved business strong and viable. Come back to the bargaining table and treat this workforce fairly. Thank you. It's an honor, you guys, to be able to be here tonight.